Hey guys, what's up? Today we're over here at Reps Fitness. We're talking about accessory lifts, accessory lifts for your deadlift, how to make your deadlift better. And we're gonna go over four different exercises. We're gonna start off with an exercise that you don't see a lot of people doing anymore, yeah. and it's called the good morning, okay? Yeah. And I'm gonna preface this by saying, you need to make sure that you understand, A, the hip hinge, which we have covered before in prior videos. Go back and look at those videos if you're not familiar with how to hip hinge correctly. Secondly, you have to have good thoracic mobility, good thoracic extension, able to extend your arms above your head and get yourself into not flexion of the thoracic spine, this kyphotic curvature of your spine. You wanna go actually into extension. It's gonna be a much safer position and much more biome uh, biomechanical mm -hmm. um, effective way to be so you got to go back and do that we just shot a video on thoracic extension if you haven't seen that video it's foam rolling for thoracic extension go back and look at that but we're going to start off with this exercise that you need to have the mobility and the ability to hip hinge on and that is the good morning now as you see Chaz doing here he's doing the good morning it's actually a great exercise if you do it correctly for your glutes and for your hamstrings you don't really feel much in your lower back right no not at all especially if you keep your back straight um, and leave those hips out which actually leads the pressure into those hams and glutes which is the hip hinge yep yeah it yep. starts with the hip hinge so this that's oh, yeah. where why it's important to understand how to hip hinge once you do that you can execute this movement. It's a really good movement if you do it correctly. Also, I'm gonna point out here that you can see Chaz's bar path is pretty much vertical. It's not going forward five or six inches. If you're doing that, that's a sign right there that your lower back is coming into play yeah. and you're not, you're not maintaining the correct position. You would definitely feel that and hopefully correct back to the point where you need to be. Well, yeah, you'd hope so. Continue the set. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that before, so uh, you learn by example. Yeah. Yeah, so you want to make sure that you get these two things down, the hip hinge and the thoracic extension if you want to incorporate that. Now we're going to go to see Brad doing the pendulate row, which is another good strengthening move for the just the back because um, you get a lot of pull with the back and you need to keep your back straight and you need it to be strong when you're doing deadlifts. So as you can see here, he's starting from the base of the move, which is the extended part of the move, and he is powering up and powering through that move, bringing the elbows out. Um, this covers a majority of the back, which is the upper portion of the back and the lower part, which is the lats. Um, lats are what really keeps you stable and what really keeps that back back into the extension and keeps it strong and straight so you can pull that weight up. Mm -hmm. This is an explosive move, so this is a good uh, lift to use at the very beginning of the movement, you're actually gonna be exploding off the floor. So you're working on that explosive part off the floor. As you can see, I'm exploding up off the floor. Yes and working on that lats, yeah. keeping the lats tight, because if you lose tightness in your lats, you're gonna miss out on a lot of potential you have to lift a lot more weight. Yeah, could end up with a little bit of shoulder damage too. Yeah, so you wanna <laughs> keep that bar close to you. Pin lay row is a good way to emphasize that and reinforce that, just another accessory lift. All right, so this next exercise we're talking about is called a high pull, a dumbbell high pull. And this is a really good movement to put at maybe the end of your uh, trap or shoulder day. It's gonna work on your trap, it's gonna work on your upper back. This is not a typical upright row where you're actually internally rotating your shoulders. This is actually an external rotation. Please notice here how my hands are higher than my elbows at the end of the movement every single time. This puts your shoulders into external rotation which is a much much safer position for your shoulders to be in especially when you have them up at shoulder height or above so this is another good move to use again this is another accessory lift throw it in at the end of your shoulder day at the end of your trap day and it's going to help pay dividends as far as the numbers that you put up on the bar yep. when you go do your deadlift help keep those shoulders back and uh, help keep your back strong and in place so your shoulders don't drop forward and you round your back, right. end it, up with an injury. It, it reinforces good retraction of the shoulder blades too. At the end movement, you should feel your shoulder blades coming together. So it puts you in a much safer position shoulder-wise. Yeah, you probably feel really strong up there too. Yeah. <laughs> You're done with those. Yeah, you get a great pump. This is a good one. If you really want to finish off your shoulder day, finish off your trap day and really put the nail in the coffin, mm -hmm. this is a great way to do it. Yeah. Skip those regular upright rows and try something new. Yep.
Okay, now we're going to switch to the single leg Romanian deadlift, which you know that single leg strength brings you mo more overall strength for that move that you're doing. So the Romanian is a good strength builder for the hands and the glutes. And we have tapped into this move quite a bit, at least three or four times since we've been doing videos here, which is over <laughs> a year now, mm -hmm. over a year. And um, it's a very good move to incorporate in your leg day, especially if you're trying to develop hams and glutes, um, which is the, one of the main muscles that you use to pull with your deadlift. So doing single leg motion, um, as I'm doing here, you wanna balance yourself with that leg that you're not standing on and to help with that hip hinge, leading the hips back just like normal with the hip hinge and the Romanian deadlift that you do with doubles. Um, you do this with a single leg. Keeping your balance is all another part of building that strength and stability within each leg by itself. So when you go to do that regular deadlift that you'll have a lot more um, hip hinge, uh, you'll have a straighter back and you'll have more balance and stability and strength through both legs since you work those legs singly. Yep. Something that we don't do enough of, I think, is, is single leg training. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna help address any imbalances you have. You know, people, some people say, oh, you don't need to do single leg training, you know. Yeah. I said like, well, that's not good advice because if you want to address any weaknesses, they're gonna be yeah. uh, revealed when you do the single leg training and then you're gonna work to improve that by doing the single leg training, so. That's yes, with some people, they do like, um, they'll do an incline curl and they'll be like, well, I only did eight on this arm, but I did 10 on this arm. So that's all part of uh, bringing up muscular imbalance on one side. Mm -hmm. Yep, single leg, single arm, doing you know unilateral training, very important. So yep. try these four different moves out, guys. These are what we call accessory moves. They're not the actual main lift, but they help that big lift become all the more impressive mm -hmm. uh, when you go to perform it. So any other points? No, those were all pretty good. We got our fine guy back here. <laughs> Stay up there. We got our fine drawing back here. He's added some dumbbells. and Got a little bit more definition. Hands yeah. are backwards, but he's still happy. Yeah. So. He's doing he's doing something right. Yep, he did he's, that he did that shoulder routine that we posted last week. I know, week, they're so. just blowing up. They are blowing up. <laughs> Got so. vascularity and all. <laughs> Hope you guys implement a lot of these techniques that we're teaching you. Hope you guys are finding these videos helpful. Again, as always, if you guys have any suggestions for any topics, let us know. We'd be glad to try to address those in future videos. Yep. All right, we'll see you guys soon.